few scattered showers are going to be possible here for this evening's commute. And as those showers continue, you'll likely be dealing with some raindrops on your windshield. I'm meteorologist Justin Ballard from the UF Weather Center. Those showers, though, once we get into the 8 and 9 o'clock hour, will basically be pushing along the Interstate 75 corridor. Watch what happens as we get closer to midnight. Now, rain chances will drop off after midnight. But until then, even 10 o'clock this evening, we're still holding on to a few very scattered showers over north central Florida. But by early Friday morning, dry conditions take hold. It might be a tad on the foggy side, so just something to be mindful of. Over the next couple of hours, our rain chances will be highest before, say, 6, 7 o'clock. Once we get beyond that, we'll start to gradually dry things out from south to north. And certainly by midnight, we'll have dry conditions aside from that patchy, dense fog. And the fog could be pretty dense, especially in areas that do see rainfall tonight with temperatures only falling to near 60. That's about 10, 15 degrees warmer than average. But rain will be a little bit more likely early next week. I want to show you that here using future track. First of all, Sunday, isolated showers and even a few thunderstorms possible across northern Florida. A cold front will be pushing through. That cold front by Monday will result in a generally dry day. However, it won't last long. Tuesday into Wednesday, rounds of heavy rain will be likely, and even some thunderstorms certainly possible here with our warmer than average pattern sticking around. But by Wednesday evening, we should start to see drier conditions coming in really just in time for Christmas. Of course, that is on Saturday of next week, but in the meantime, a cool down also looks to be ahead by the middle of next week.